Mark Spencer here from RippleTraining.com and AppleMotion.net with a quick tip on how to change the way that text scales in motion. So I'm here in Motion 5, but everything I'm doing will work in Motion 4 as well. So here's the issue that often comes up. I'm going to select this text layer and I'm going to animate it with the text sequence behavior. So I'll click the Add Behavior icon down here at the right side of the toolbar, which is now down below the canvas, and choose Text Animation, Sequence Text. I'll then trim that by pressing O right here in the mini timeline, and I'll start playback. Now to animate, I'll go over to the Behaviors pane in the Inspector, and I'll choose to add Format, Scale, and I'll set the scale down to zero. And now each letter scales up from 0 to 100% over the duration of the sequence text behavior. Okay, the issue is that the text scales from its baseline, which may be what you want, but sometimes you want to do something different. In this case, I would like each letter to scale up from the center of the letter. Let me stop playback for a minute when this gets to the end here. Now, normally you might think that in order to do that, you would change the anchor point of the layer, because the anchor point is the point around which a layer rotates and scales. In this, quite, in this case, the anchor point is right down here. If I right click and choose anchor point, I can take that anchor point and I can move it around. I'll move it to the middle there, hit Shift S and play back. And they do the same old thing. It has no impact. Each one is scaling up really from the bottom left hand corner of each letter. Each letter. So here's what you have to do to fix that. What we're going to do is instead of in the Behaviors tab, we're going to go over to the Text tab or the Text Pane. In Motion 5, these are panes. I'll select that, and then I'm going to go to the Layout section here. In the Layout section is a section that's new in Motion 5 where it says Behavior Controls, but in Motion 4, there are still these, um, still these parameters are here. There is not under something called Behavior Controls. What I'm interested in is Position. So if you take a look at this, I'm going to select the sequence text behavior specifically because it will show this little dot right down there, which is basically the anchor point for the animation. And then in this layout section of the text inspector, I'm going to drag on the Y, position Y. Notice how that little ball moves up. Go down right to the middle there. And now if I resume playback at this point, each letter will scale exactly from the center of that letter. Okay, pretty cool, right? Because there's really no other way to do that. Uh, it can be very frustrating doing the way you think it should do, but that's that's what'll get you there. Now, from here, you can actually use this to create different kinds of animation. For example, if we go back to the behavior, and we'll add another parameter to animate. I'll go add format and choose uh, rotation. And for rotation, I'm going to open up, click the disclosure triangle so we see the X, Y, and Z axes. And I'm just going to go ahead and rotate each letter a fair amount on all three axes. Okay, so each of these letters kind of spins up now and comes into play. Now I'm also going to increase the spread a little bit so we have more letters animating at each given point in time. So now we see each, each of those letters coming up. Maybe go down a little bit from there, about three is good. Okay, so now if we return to the text inspector and to the layout section, to these behavior controls, and I'm going to crank on the X here and just move that over. And what happens now is each of those letters animates the scale and the rotation around that anchor point, which I just pushed off into the right. And we get a really kind of nice animation that goes on there. So let me also crank up the Y just to move it up as well. And now these fly from up high and do this nice little loop into position. Difficult to achieve other ways, very quick and easy by changing these behavior controls when you're using the sequence text behavior. You also might want to play with this anchor point pop-up menu. Instead of each one animating around the anchor point of an individual character, you can have them animate around the anchor point for each word, for example. And you'll see now that the first word comes over from the bottom left, and then the second word kind of in the middle, and then the last word over a little bit further. So it changes the way the animation looks. It can be a little hard to predict, kind of think it through. We can choose line and they'll all animate based on one anchor point. You can see every letter now is coming out from one point in space. They're all shooting out from there, which would be great if you have some object there you want them to come out from. So the combination of changes the little anchor point pop-up menu and then changing the position of that anchor point can really have a big impact 
on what your animation looks like. So hopefully that is useful for you. Um, if you want complete training on Motion or Final Cut Pro 10, check out rippletraining.com. For lots of tips on Motion, check out applemotion.net. My name is Mark Spencer, and thank you for watching.